Well, a mother is on a serious mission now to stop hazing rituals at colleges and universities. Her son was a victim in a case that rocked our region. Today, she brought her anti-hazing campaign to South Jersey. This is our last family picture taken on January 2nd, 2017 at the Rose Bowl. In a heart-wrenching presentation to students here at Rutgers University Camden campus, Evelyn Piazza shared details surrounding the tragic loss of her son, Tim. What I want you to do is put yourself in our shoes. Timothy Piazza suffered a life-ending fall during a fraternity hazing ritual at Penn State University in 2017. The college sophomore drank at least 18 alcoholic drinks in an hour and a half before suffering catastrophic injuries in a fall down a set of stairs. He died two days later. Evelyn Piazza is making it her mission now to stop hazing on college campuses by telling her very personal story. In a small room, a surgeon and a nurse tell them that their son's brain injury is non-recoverable. They feel the world stop. This presentation was sponsored by Rutgers Camden Chapter of Sigma Delta Tau. The sorority is hoping this gut-wrenching account of Evelyn and her family's loss resonates with students. It was so powerful. I could not sit there and imagine um, like what she was feeling. I mean, it, the, her words impacted me so much. I thought it was a great message, and I think it's really like a motivational way to change Greek life in every campus around the United States. Evelyn Piazza is speaking at colleges around the country on behalf of hundreds of families whose children have been impacted by hazing. Her anti-hazing message can't bring back her son, but she's hoping to save the lives of others by telling her story. And a tradition should never be a dangerous rite of passage. Hazing is a cycle of abuse where the abused later becomes the abuser. Please take these words back to your organizations and across your campus and put an end to hazing. Hazing has no place on your campus. Well, university officials do urge students to call 911 in an emergency and to report hazing wherever it occurs.